Greetings everyone. Today is about Focalors. Today I am going to tell you all the reasons why Focalors is worth your pools. Out of all the reasons, the first one I am going to tell you is going to be the one of the most vital one. Focalors is a sub DPS character who can be also act and used as a healer. Also, Focalors ultimate skill buffs all of your party members. The second reason is she is going to be easy to build because this artifact is particularly made for her. It can also be used as for Nahida but I'm just saying that you can use this artifact and it's going to be very great on Fontaine's Focalor. If you're wondering what kind of sub DPS Focalor is gonna be, she is great but here are the details. Her skill summons 3 salon members, each of them deals and drains damn ASP. Drains ASP from your party members and deals damage to them. The more ASP they drain, the more damage they deal. If you use her elemental skill again, she will summon a singer, which will heal your characters based on Purina's max ASP. Now, actually, it's a guarantee that Purina is gonna be ASP based and not attack based, both her damage and healing, which is actually very, very awesome. A both a sub DPS and a healer is kind of a rare thing, but unlike Kokomi, Pokolor's damage is much more. Pokolor's ultimate skill goes very well with her elemental skills. Why? Because her ultimate skill buffs your healing receives, bonus, and your damage. Now, damage is for everyone, but healing receive is also interesting because. Both of these buffs are actually super amazing. Focalors is both a buffer and a healer and to be honest also a sub DPS. But what's the catch in Fontaine's Focalor? I don't know, many people are not hyping for her. Her skill kit is just awesome. And yes, what I am saying is actually the truth. The gameplay of Focalors is out and this is the exact skill kit. There is gonna be no difference from that. If you want a Hydro sub DPS or if you want a healer, she's good at both roles and you can build her to your specific <laughs> liked role. But if you want her as a buffer, I would recommend you either build her as a sub DPS or a healer because her buff has nothing to do with her build. See you guys next time. Good luck on your 50 50.